Sinead, do you Sorry, want to say? There's, yeah. there's one yeah. question that I'm sort of burning to ask you. Burning. It's got oh, yes. nothing at all to do, do with what we were talking about. Oh, but yes. it has uh, something that I'm curious about, um, and I hope you won't be offended by me uh -oh. asking you. But, uh -oh. um, Whenever <laughs> something offensive is coming, they say, I hope you won't be offended. <laughs> no, no, I mean it with the deepest respect. I'm just curious about it. You have been quite uh, vociferous in the past about your support for the Tory party and have done oh, rallies, that's et cetera. Right. And <laughs> Well, no, no, I haven't finished yet. Oh, that's it. Uh, no, I haven't finished oh, yet. We can all um, sit back and enjoy this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, what I wanted to know about was... Um, Don't forget, I might be playing your record f in future, or Well, not. I doubt it after this. Um, I was just curious as to whether it, you found the Tory uh, idea of Clause 28 offensive, uh, because it is like a disgraceful abuse of people who, you know, it are does of seem your sexual to me persuasion. That they are closing up a lot of freedoms. And would you be prepared to be also vociferous anti-Tory in that regard? Well, the reason I'm pro-Tory a little here and there, not the total blanket Tory ethic, mm. the, the, bits I, the bit I like most of all, are you still awake? I'm listening, I'm listening. The bit I like most of all, because Arthur Scargill looked to me like Hitler reborn. I mean, it was so obvious what he was doing. He was rebel-rousing and making a lot of fuss and getting a lot of people violent. Yeah. Stop looking at me. Stirring. Talk to her. Yeah, but Arthur yeah. yeah. Scargill has never said that homosexuals have gay rights. You know, whereas no, I, I, don't, I never mentioned anything about gay rights at all. I'm still on Arthur Scargill. I think we should stay on him a bit because he was rebel rousing and getting a lot of people very upset. And I liked the way that she dealt with that. That's what I liked. Now, there are other things about them that I don't like. Okay. And suddenly I appear at the Tory party conference with the big hands, only because they asked me to go. If the other lot had asked me, I'd have gone and been on their show. I was waving the hands about and everybody suddenly thinks I'm a fascist. Well, no, no, I don't mean to say that at all. What I mean is that, you know, I respect that anyone, whether or not I believe in what they believe in, I have to respect what they believe in. But what I'm asking you is, while you're prepared to be vociferous in your support for what you do believe in about the Tories, are you also prepared because of your notoriety and everything else? And the fact that you are gay and that a lot of people know that, are you prepared to go in public and stand up for gay rights, you know, if you can, as well as standing up for other things that you well, believe I've in? Well, I was never asked to... If you were asked that. to, though, would you? Oh, like, I Like, how do you would, feel yes. about Close 28? I mean, if, if it was a jolly occasion. Well, yeah. how do you feel about Close 28? It wouldn't be a jolly occasion. Well, I think it's a, a, it's a curtailment of freedom. But there's a lot of that going on in various... Yeah, but the Facets thing is that I British life today. Yeah, but this do you not think that there laughs. is a certain duty? It's not getting any laughs. <laughs> do you not think that there's a certain duty uh, to people who are, uh, in some way, in the public eye to stand up for what they believe in? Because there are so many people who are being abused by that. There's sort also of thing a duty for people in the public eye who are some kind of minority to amuse and entertain. So the people who are watching mm. who think. Hey, he's gay, isn't he? Yeah, yeah but yeah, he's but you funny. you yourself have he's been funny. abused by the British system. Wait a minute, let me finish. Of, of, Just a moment, young woman. Yeah. You know, they look at you and see that you're not a thing with horns, and you're not inhuman, and you can be amusing or you can sing good. And mm. they think, hey, these people are humans after all. And I think that's better than marching through the streets and going, we're all right. You know, just be careful because we're just as human as you are and you better believe that or we'll come and give you a bunch of fives. I think that's the bad way of going about it. I think we should just behave normally mm. and make people laugh or sing good or whatever. And then people think, oh, they're not so bad after all. Oh, well, no, I don't... I mean, that if you if you go to a Tory party rally, for example, you are, all, you are being entertaining and amusing and everything else, but you're also affiliating yourself with those beliefs. And do you not I think that think you should so, no. also try to... I think if you join any party, your own beliefs. it's not that you believe in everything they do, you know. You don't believe in the whole bag. That's right. Generally speaking, the general direction of what they stand for. Anyway, I wanted to see Margaret Thatcher. Yeah.